this week is going to be magical. We're going to talk about rainbows and unicorns. I can hardly wait. Let's get started. The first thing we're going to make is unicorn bark. Don't forget to write down what we're going to need. Here are the items you're going to need to make unicorn bark. You'll need some parchment paper, a dish, three small bowls, food coloring, sprinkles of course, vanilla yogurt, and a spoon. We're going to start by putting equal amounts of yogurt in each bowl. There we go. And now we're going to use the food coloring to give us different colors. So I think I'm going to make one of these. Put some red in there. And maybe some green in this one. And maybe some blue in this one. I'm going to mix up the green one first. my spoon. So we don't mix the colors just yet. Now let's mix up the blue one. That's looking pretty already. And we'll rinse the spoon again. Now the red. Now I've lined the dish with the parchment paper and I've added my blobs of colored yogurt. Now I'm going to take my spoon and we're going to swirl these all around together to make different magical colors. So it kind of looks like rainbow unicorn colors. Just like that. Beautiful. Now I'm going to take my sprinkles, I think I'm going to use these ones here that are super colorful, and I'm going to sprinkle them on top to make it even more magical. This looks like a unicorn's mane. The next thing we're going to do is this has to harden in the freezer. So we're going to put it in the freezer and we're going to leave it there for several hours until it's completely hardened. So here is our unicorn bark now that we've taken it out of the freezer. We can lift this right out of the dish. 
And now we can sort of fold the paper over a little bit and we can break it into pieces to share with everybody. Then you can just put it in a baggie and put it back in the freezer to keep it frozen for another time. Or you can have a unicorn party right away. And there you go, you've got your unicorn bark. The next thing we're going to make are rainbow pudding pops. This is gonna be so delicious when they're done. Again, at the end, we're gonna to have to be patient and let them freeze overnight. But tomorrow, mmm, yum, they're going to be great. Here's what you're going to need to make rainbow pudding pops. Two cups of milk, vanilla pudding mix, a large bowl, a hand mixer, a spoon. We're going to need some food coloring to make our rainbow colors. Popsicle sticks. I'm using these little plastic cups, but you can also use little paper cups that you might have in your bathroom. We need foil. And I think that's about it. Oh, and the popsicle sticks, of course. Okay, let's get started. We're gonna start by following the instructions by putting the milk first into the bowl. Then we're going to add the pudding powder. Oh, that smells yummy. Now, time to start up that mixer. Here we go. We're going to mix for about two minutes on low. Now that it's mixed, we have to wait for about five minutes so that it's fairly firm before we start mixing it with different colors. Now that our pudding is nice and firm, we're going to add it to these bowls. Put a little in here. This one, put some in here. Oops, getting messy. Now we're going to add the food coloring to make it colorful. So let's see. I think this one will make blue. And this one will make red. And then the last one, I think I'm going to make green. And let's stir these up. Rinse. 
here we go. We can start filling up our pudding pop cups. So we'll put one scoop of blue on the bottom. Maybe I'll get a couple of other spoons. And then we'll put in a scoop of red. Don't mix them together though, just lay it on top very carefully. And then a big scoop of green on top of that. And because it's nice and firm now, it's not going to mix together. So now what we're gonna do, once we've got all three layers in our cup, we're gonna take a little bit of foil just enough to cover the top of our cup and we're gonna put it right over the top, just like this. Put it on nice and snug around the sides. And this is actually there just to hold up our popsicle stick. So we're gonna take this, we're gonna poke this right down through the middle, just like that, so that it holds our popsicle stick in place. Then we're going to do the next one. This time I think we'll do the green on the bottom. And then some red. And then some blue. Again, we're going to take some foil, cover the cup nice and firmly, just like that. Then we're going to take our popsicle stick and poke it right down through the middle. And the foil just keeps our stick in place until these are frozen. So we're going to put these all in the freezer and later on, these are going to be ready to pop out of the little cups. Now it's time to take our rainbow pudding pops out of the freezer. So we'll take this foil off. You may have to run this under hot water to get the cup off. You can also try pushing it up from the bottom, which also works. Put some hot water on top of the cup. Loosen it up. And here we go. Got yourself a rainbow pudding pop. Delicious. Great for a hot summer day. I hope you had fun this week at Kitchen Club and you enjoy your frozen treats. I'm sure I will. Have a great week, everyone. See you soon.